this is my video regarding the fly to unlock <laughs> patent with Apple in the following litigation between Samsung and Apple. Uh, I'll be speaking rather quietly because I'm in a study room right now. But to begin with, the claim one under the iPhone patent uh, filing is a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of technological babble. So I'll unlock that. It's pretty straightforward in my opinion, and go into the Samsung versus Apple litigation patent litigation suit. So. As my understanding, the suit began in 2011 when Apple claimed that Samsung allegedly uh, copied many of its uh, patents, including the side to lock mechanism, which Samsung then countersued, saying Apple uh, copied infringed on many of their patents, also including the slide to unlock suit, which they both seemed to have had at the time. Um, in terms of how it's progressing over the last couple of years, Apple's mostly been winning. Uh, they've been awarded $1 billion in damages by American courts. And uh, the suit, the the court, the case recently went back to trial in 2015 with the release of the iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy 3. So the case was restarted again. Internationally, um, Apple's been losing simply because no international courts have has um, acknowledged Apple's slide to unlock as an actual patent, with one German court saying it's not even that big of a technological advance. <laughs> so Apple's gotten no money abroad for their slide to unlock uh, uh, suit. Um, yeah, in terms of what it means for both companies, Samsung is the largest producer of smartphones in the world. So having to pay royalty on each smartphone to Apple for this light and lock technology uh, says a lot about their possible uh, profit margins for the next coming years. And Apple, two-thirds of its uh, sales come from iPhone and iPad, so this, uh, this patent represents a big technological advance for their biggest market. So it'll be very interesting, interesting to see how it plays out. Um, something else to add is Apple only got one billion dollars from Samsung as opposed to two and a half billion that they requested. So they haven't had as big as a victory as they hoped, but they've still been winning. And yeah, that's my understanding on the patent ver on the Samsung versus Apple uh, dispute. Thanks for listening, guys.